cut the music up. La, la, la. I'm going to talk to you about the Fresnel lens, also known as a solar concentrator. The first the inventor of this uh, lens was Augustine John Fresnel, uh, French physicist. Today, our, our main use for Fresnel lens is to create an energy system. When it's over. Uh, what we have here is a, a 30 by 40 Fresnel lens, and what we're trying to do is pretty much maximize, maximize the amount of energy we could obtain from the solar radiation. First, when we, when we started doing this project, uh, we were looking at cost and efficiency, and at the same time, um, trying to spend as best speed as we could. This is a prototype, of course, and what you guys are seeing here is this is from a maybe 95 or in the late 90s type technology TV projection. What we found is that it concentrates the solar radiation at one point, which is called focal. We did measure it and it came out to be approximately about 29 uh, inches from the screen, projected at an angle perhaps 45. We normally line up the TV screen to this and approximately it looks like a 45 degree. Readings of temperature on the fine side, approximately uh, 1,000 plus Fahrenheit, and when we switch the lens around to the groove side, we obtain uh, approximately 1,300 plus Fahrenheit uh, in temperature. So it, it it has a very very high. Output. So we can educate third world countries about this free energy system and so they can use it to their full benefit in their undeveloped society. Why do they it? Mainly because of resources they have. They have little to none. For example, water, the water would probably be a few miles down the road. Wood, if they even have any trees, and trash to build their own houses out of scrap. Its main use is for is the sun, also known as solar thermal energy, and we almost take this for a in turn creates heat, also known as energy. When it's over. Our budget approach is almost, we almost use zero dollars. It was only sixty dollars for this carpet, we bought a harbor price. Uh, the PVC piping to use as the actual support stand. We have a piece of wood to, just to uh, give it a little bit of mass and stability. So for no lens of this magnification, would r roughly run up to 170 to 250 plus. Uh, we got it for free uh, just simply by finding a, a old uh, projection TV. When it's over. We have uh, concentric circles here in, in this whole entire uh, panel. And what's happening is you got solar flux going into this area. So whatever area you have here, uh, times the solar flux, you pretty much get the amount of en uh, power coming out in watts. When it's over. Well, as you guys can see, we already <laughs> fixed the Fresnel lens at a 45 degree. I'm going to use a side that just it's completely fresh, and you, you guys are going to see the effects of the Fresnel lens as it concentrates the sun on it. When it's over. That's the time I fall in love again. 30 inches focal point. And you guys can see it's uh, the wood's just on fire. And this is free energy, again, concentrated at one solid point. This concentration could be used for multiple uh, energy systems. For example, boiling water. This is the focal point. Instantaneously caught fire, as you can see. We're trying to educate the third world countries so that they could uh, max, you know, maximize their energy systems. And of course, um, you know, use technology that we Americans take for granted. Thank you for watching our video, and hopefully you learned something about the Fresnel lens. Cut the music up. La, la, la.